Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. Uh, in this session, uh, I am going to continue the RAD, different RAD operations. Here, what we are going to do, here we are going to uh, take a key value RAD and find the average friends by age. Means there will be a data set containing all the ages and corresponding to the age, uh, what is the number of friends. So let's say uh, 33 age. So 33 years have in in a one row it it is having 385 friends. In other rows it is having uh, f uh, another two uh, another two friends. So that's what your age and the number of friends is dispersed in the data set, and you have to find finally find the average number of friends by age. So let's say for age 33 what is the average number of friends for age 22 what is the number of friends like that you have to solve this problem in this problem we are uh, uh, why we are going to take the key value uh, will uh, will will we'll discuss we are going to discuss about all those so first I am going to introduce you what is my data set let's see the data set is this is the data set fake friends dot CSV you can see uh, the first value it's containing uh, thousands of rows and each row is like uh, the first column is you can say it's it's a user ID and the user name the age and the number of friends so for this for age 33 number of friends is 385 like this you will be getting uh, 55 age number 225 so it can be like 33 is going to repeat in another another rows also let's uh, let's see this this also going to you can find it others how it is going to repeat that so 53 let's say 53 191 friend then here also 53 197 friends so what we have to do we have to finally find for each age what is the number of average number of what is the number of friends in an average so we have to find friends by uh, average friends by age for i already created a <coughs> spark program for that in my eclipse let me show you the eclipse okay we are going to uh, understand line by line what is happening and we are going to do f uh, see the finally going to run the application so and in in my last in my previous uh, uh, in my uh, uh, videos i have created a spark core as a package then i have added these these two as a uh, spark uh, um, scala object so this is friends by age this is a new example here uh, we are going to cover so what we are going to do so you already saw the data set what we are doing here these are the important packages i you i imported input org.apache.spark then the spark context and for uh, suppress error level other other logs and so only error level logs we are using log4j package again see I have taken one method also this is outside of the main method this is called parse line what I am going to do uh, what I am going to do uh, I am going to parsing the each line let's say I have this line here these two fields are not necessary for me only I uh, only this field uh, age uh, and the number of friends is uh, only needed for our uh, is only always only the uh, we, we need to concentrate only these two column values because these are the unwanted thing so these are the wanted uh, fields age number of fields this this doesn't make sense for ours uh, zero and will this doesn't make sense in our problem solving problem solving strat uh, is strategy so uh, the same thing I'm going to achieve I am I am try to find these two fields only it's splitting and then this is the comma separate file so see each line I am going to get uh, as a string so you can treat this as a line okay then what I did I, I, I split I split it this uh, line based upon comma so finally this this is going to contain a list and list with four values 0 will 33 385 now uh, we find age and number friend so age is where it's a 0 based index so 0 1 2 so second index is our A's convert into 2 int to int so this is my A's and this is the number of friends so finally we got A's and number of friends now finally I want to return as a I want to create a tuple and uh, of A's and number of friends like this and finally we are going to return like this 
okay so this uh, the common method we are going to utilize in order to uh, get a tuple of a's comma number of friends like this so this will be giving us a's comma number of friends now our main method starts this is the uh, log file to suppress the error level log the very first thing what we are doing here we are trying to try to load uh, we are trying to create a uh, spark context for every spark program uh, in uh, work with rdd we need to create first spark context then only we can get rdd for that val sc is equal to new spark context local star and uh, this is the name of this rdd friends by is and this is what i am telling to compiler go and run uh, this locally and utilize all my cores uh, in in this uh, my personal uh, cpu right now this is the next line is lines means what we are going to do we this is the raw data you are seeing all the raw data will become here in this lines rdd by sc.txt file the location of my friends.csv file i am giving here so we got as lines rdd all this raw data then finally what we are doing we are actually uh, 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 we need to transform uh, from this to this is a number of friends we want this uh, see what i am doing here i am i am passing this function so this function is a parameter parse parse line so this will give me as a a's common number of friends rdd so this r this rdd is going to contain the tuples of a's and number of friends now let's understand each by each now what i have to do we have to find a uh, total by age why we have to find total by age uh, now let's go to our one of the analogy i have created for uh, you friends by age see what how we are going to tra apply transformations and how we are going to achieve our uh, to find out the number of uh, average number of friends by age so this is the expert of data uh, i have taken just the sample of uh, that our csv file i have taken so see this this is this will be our this rdd okay uh, no this will be our lines lines rdd now we we want to create key value rdd why we want to create a key value rdd because key will be our <coughs> age and the value will be our number of friends so uh, if you create a key value rdd uh, by that you can apply lot of uh, uh, there will be a lot of combination you can use you can, you can use the key and uh, some get the sum of the values you can key and get the, apply the group by and get the uh, all those uh, number of friends associated with that particular age order so like this uh, so this is very beneficial once we create once we convert this rdd to a key value a pair of rdds so this rdd becomes lines dot map parse line this will give us like this so this rdd will look like this age and number of friends age and number of friends say see age 33 number of friends 385 age 26 number of friends 2 again age 33 number of friends 3 now we are finding uh, total by age how we are how we are here we applied chain of operations um, uh, we applied map values we applied reduce by key so I will I am going to uh, divide into uh, two piece of uh, logic and will tell you what is what this is doing then after that what particular reduce by key is uh, doing so in order to get the particular count what what we can do if will convert this let's say this is 385 if I will convert and create a tuple like this for everyone for every value if I can do I'm not doing on key I'm just concentrating on the value I'm applying on this particular transformation on the values not the key so this two value becomes two comma one like this uh, this again 33 3 become 3 comma 1 why I am applying why I am associating 1 I am creating a tuple of 385 1 385 finally what I am going to do uh, sorry uh, 385 1 uh, uh, 3 1 yeah and this is going to associate with the key 33 this is going to associate with the key 26 okay this is going to associate with the 33 
comma let's say like this so 385 i am transforming 385 comma 1 3 comma 1 let's say if i want to find the total number of friends for this age if i am app if I am creating tuples like this 388, 385, 1, 3, 3, 1 then finally what I am going to do on th on the same key I am going to add let's say 385 and 3 I am going to add at 388 and this will give me the number of times it's available because we have to find the average so average is like that if you have to find the aggregate aggregate or average how we are going to the, the, the total number of values divided by number of times so let's say 385 is coming one time 3 is coming again one time once we're going to add this this is going to this this is going this is adding 111 it will give the number of times 33 is repeated and this is the actual number of counts and then we are going to divide by this uh, sum of counts by this sum of counts sum of this number of friends divided by number of times it repeated so it will give me finally the average now in my in our last uh, example we saw uh, that there will be a method called map but here our uh, here the RDD is key value RDD what we are going to do we are going to use map values so what this map values will do it is apply the map on the value not on the key that's why it is map values so this 33 will be like this but 385 will become x comma 1 means 385 1 26 become 2 comma 1 like this then again this 33 and 3 become 33 3 comma 1 so this will yielded as a result of this only map map values so now now uh, now I have already something like this now uh, uh, again I am applying this chain what I am doing I am applying reduce by key reduce by key means if you have a key value already and there is a key and there is a value so this is our value this uh, this is our key so for each key I am reducing so let's say this 33 and what we are reducing reducing by key we are we are making this these two rows and converting into a one row on what scenario we are doing reduce by key this x comma y this is not the key this is the value so at a time what we are doing we are we are taking two same key let's say 33 33 and x comma y we have means 385 1 3 1 I am going to add 385 to 3 1 2 1 that's why the syntax is x underscore 1 plus y underscore 1 means x underscore is 385 y underscore is 3 so at a time we are taking two uh, two tuples based upon the matched matched key the key here is 33 so as uh, you can say that why we are applying to, uh, on the, on the two elements at a time why we and we cannot apply on the whole ele elements at a time because this is going to execute uh, in a cluster and in a different a different node this is the distributed uh, operation so if you if you if you, if you will give at a once it, it is not going to work so you have to uh, you have to come like part by part so this will give finally this RDD reduce by key will this this key is reduced to uh, to become a one row and in this row it added the uh, summation of this number of friends 388 and the number of times it, uh, it it was present too so if now I have to find the average of this friend so what I will be do I will simply divide 388 by num this two so this will be 194 so for the age 33 the number of average friends is 194 for that average by A's total by A's means this RDD this RDD dot map values again we are uh, performing op transformation on values because key value RDD so we cannot apply directly map we have to apply map values so this is the transformation is going to apply on the values not on the key so this is going to perform on this so what we have to do x underscore 1 means this first one uh, this first item of this tuple divided by the second item of this tuple so this will give me the average of of this of the number of friends for this age finally it will come 388 by 2 <coughs> 194 and uh, remember finally we are doing collect because these are these were all the transformations and this is the action
okay and in spark nothing is happened unless until your call and act call and action so this collect is going to create a direct click graph and execute all these lines and it will give you results okay so this i am just here if i am sorting the result and printing all what we got in a tuple so finally we, we are going to get this 33 age having 194 number of friends average on an, an average way so let's uh, run this for that i have already created a run configuration friends by age spark code is my uh, project this is spark dot code is my package name then the scala object friends by age okay let me run this see we got this result we can interpret the number of the age which is 18 uh, is having uh, 343 average number of friends age 23 having average number of 246 friends so like this we got for each age group for each age we got number average number of friends so this was our problem statement okay this is our problem statement and what we did we created a key value oddities from the fake friends uh, data set we converted it into a key value oddities and we applied a lot of transformations and final collect operations in order to achieve the uh, final uh, result so that's all for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye